ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch! your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. reversing the phase oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. Over here! What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult. But the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain, you come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Bucket suited up.
Enterprise shuttle. Confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sulu, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Well, just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir.
Hey, Spock, you look like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. I'm Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now. 